it's Amy and today I'm going to be attempting to organize all this glitter so I found this neat little box that has a bunch of little containers I'm gonna try to organize my glitter in and I have just one container I believe it holds 24 I obviously have way more than 24 glitters to put in here, but I only bought one just because I wanted to try it out and test it. I didn't want to buy like three packs of these and then end up not liking them. So I just bought one to test it out. And I thought I'd do it on video for you guys, but I have this full bag of glitter, Heaven Australia glitters. It's just tons of glitters. This is how I've been storing them. They're in their original baggies, in a giant baggie, sitting in my desk. Which is, I think, partially why I don't reach for them as much, is because how can I choose the glitter out of here? Like, it is impossible. <laughs> and then in this little pouch is my order from Glitter Boutique Canada. And then, of course, it's in this pouch. I'm like, what is in here? Again, not reaching for them. So, we need to solve this problem because it needs to be solved. <laughs> okay, first things first, let's open this guy up. I already took the plastic seal off of it. Oh, more plastic. So it's just in a bin. And here are the little jars. And so what I'm thinking is I could probably make a label and label them here on the outside with their name on it. So let's just start with this one. This is a gold bar. And I'm not really going to go through and talk about all of the glitters individually because I did go through a rundown of them in their own individual videos. And this is my problem I've run into that I've kind of come to terms with is that I've seen this um, when Talia did her videos on putting the glitter into jars like this is that the whole bag doesn't fit. You have a bunch of leftover glitter. I mean, not that much. Most of the bag fit in here, but you still have some leftover. And I hate wasting nail art supplies, like absolutely hate. So I'm like, well, I can hold on to this can hold on to the bags and then when I go through some of the dry I can just top them off which I think I'll do for now but my other thing is too I don't reach for these glitters that often that I don't think there's any way possible that I would get through an entire bag of this glitter so that's why I've kind of come to terms with it and like but there's a lot of glitter in here there is a lot. I don't think I could possibly go through a whole bag, so, but I hate throwing them away is also the other thing. And so what's really nice is you can really see the glitter without having the label on it in front. It's easier to see it. It's easier to shake it up and mix it up because I know like the fine glitters tend to separate from the chunky glitters and it's way easier to shake it up and mix it in. <laughs> And I am going to insert some photos of the nails I've done using the glitters, or at least some of the glitters in here. Just that way you can kind of see how I've incorporated some of the glitters into nail designs.
And here you can see me try to do some cooler shots of glitter pouring. Um, didn't work quite yet, but a little bit later on I get a little bit better at filming some cooler glitter shots. <laughs> So I just wanted to stop and talk about this glitter for a second. This one's Lily's Eyes. I've never used this one before, and I don't think that I've paid that close attention, but there's stars and diamonds in here. That's pretty cool. I never noticed that before. I love Glitter Heaven glitters because they are so unique. Sometimes I find it hard to use them in nail sets because they are so unique and so like specific, but that's also what the fun of them is. So if anyone has any ideas to use any of the glitters in a set, let me know down below. And I did create a TikTok and made some fun edits of some glitter pours. I will insert one of the videos here. And I will leave my names if you want to follow me on TikTok for cool nail editings as well as me attempting TikTok dances. That's fun. Um, go check me out. All of the jars are filled. Of course, I still have more glitter left to put in jars. I just need to go buy some more jars. But they are looking beautiful. I hope you enjoyed some of the glitter shots. Definitely made a mess. Um, I take back what I said about them not fitting in the jars. They did 95% the glitters fit in the jars and I had um, a little too much fun with the glitter but I'm keeping a baggie full of all this mix match glitter that I can use for photo shoots or cool shots 
later on if I want to. All right, so I've cleaned up the glitter as best as I could. So I have my jars full of glitter and they look so pretty. I think I'm really liking this because you can definitely like, I can see all of them versus having to go baggy by baggy to try to figure out what I want to use. Like I can just take this out of my drawer. My clients can choose. I can choose. It's fabulous. So what I'm going to do now, and so I have all of the like empty ish bags here and I have my label maker. I'm going to go through and just make all the labels and print them out and we will see how the labels fit on here. I might have to cut them down but I think they'll fit good. <laughs> There is the last one done. So I'm gonna turn this guy off. So I have them all on the tray here and I'm just gonna go ahead and trim them down and then put them on the containers. And in case anyone was wondering, this is my process for swatching as well. I do all of my swatch sticks, swatch them all, cure them all, get everything done. Then I go through, print them all out like this. Then I cut them all up. Then I apply them all. So I kind of do each step all at once versus doing one glitter, label, cut, apply, then moving on. It's easier to like dump all the glitters, do all the labels, cut all the labels, and then put all the labels on. So, in case anyone's wondering, that's how I do this. I'm going to go chop these up. And in case anyone's interested in my nails here, I have short, stubby nails. But this glitter is everything. It's none of these glitters. This one's Pixie Party from LE, but I have a video up on this. I will leave it in the description box down below. Go check it out. All right, so I have them all cut out. I just have them on the lid of the, the box. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take one and then find it. I generally, I know what the glitters are because I have already done like a unboxing video where I go through each one individually as well as I have looked through these glitters multiple times and I just saw the names on all of them as I was pouring them out so that's why I didn't label as I went because I already kind of know what the names of the glitters are anyways so. Let's get these applied. They're going to fit perfectly now that they're all cut down. Letters. They are all nice and labeled. I am loving this. I can store them easily in my drawer, stacked up. They're pretty thin. This is pretty heavy for glitter. <laughs> but this video has been long enough. 
So I am not going to include me buying. I'm gonna buy two more sets of these. One for the rest of the Glitter Heaven glitters, and then one for the Glitter Boutique Canada glitters. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do a part two on how I finish organizing the rest of my glitters, I might try to like color coordinate them as well. I'm not gonna do them now just because I would have to redo it once I get the other box anyway. So I'll just wait till I have all of the glitters done to color coordinate them. But let me know if you'd like to see that video. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.